to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So the average believer does not know how to deal with the flesh. Now this, come again. God bless you, eh? using you now imagine this guy he was living a wayward life scattered life and suddenly he comes to a crusade that was organized maybe in a, this auditorium or somewhere in your stadium in this city and someone says come to jesus he listens to that message and says ah i see the holy ghost is convicting him now he gets born again what next then he's planted in a church the guy is confused don't forget that this guy, you know the kind of lifestyle he was living. Just because he gave his life to Jesus does not mean he has been transformed. No, it's only his spirit that that thing happened to. The mind is still alive. The bad friends are still there. The lifestyle is still there. Now he is waiting. Heaven is waiting at the mercy of a correct shepherd to now begin to help this guy. Nobody ever tells him of the futility of living in the flesh nobody ever tells him about the excellency of the spirit life nobody ever tells him about the supremacy of the word nobody ever tells him about the need for transformation and enlightenment nobody ever tells him there are demons and real spirits that attempt to war against the purposes of god nobody teaches him the excellency of prayer and the ability of prayer to transform and the ability of prayer as a spiritual system for legislation this guy is not learning anything six months is there nothing is happening to him this guy does not know how to know god he does not know how to study whether he reads his bible or not no supervisory system whether he prays or not no supervisory system at best they just say, Mr. Man, you have been in this church for a long time. What unit are you? He says, I'm not in any unit. Go and join traffic. You have made matters worse for him because you know traffic, usually they don't attend the service. So that guy is at the gate forever. Now, I'm not saying, please, traffic, my traffic people outside. God bless you. Or he comes into the church. He's not born again, but he's a very good instrumentalist. He can play drums. As soon as choir finishes singing, he will go to the back of the church and they sit down on a stone outside there and they're just talking and laughing while the preacher is sweating and shouting and teaching. You see, when demons and spirits come to that church, they don't attack everybody. They study the spiritual climate. I taught you yesterday. And they look and they see that, ah, this man, lost is still alive in him from head to toe. Are you seeing? It's a drama. Now, there's nothing wrong with the issue. But is there something that has been introduced to his life that will help him destroy that? So you find out that someone comes who has been struggling with stealing. You came out and you gave your life to Jesus Christ in a crusade ground. But the sister, I'm not, this is more than follow up, this is maturity. Then you get to a point where they now assign you treasurer. Treasurer or uh, what do you call them? Those who count money. Church. Yes, financial secretary. You see how people fight for those positions in church? That's a loan. Because that thing is difficult. Counting money is hard. Why should you be so passionate about it? It's already a sign that something, something not correct is going on. Are we together? And people keep stealing. Service after service. 
and I hope you know stealing church money is dangerous because listen mm -mm, don't you, it's not just dangerous because you think it's evil let me give you the revelation so that if you are doing it you will stop by revelation are we together the revelation is that you see this money you see is one of the spiritual tools that we use to exchange seasons in the spirit that means that if I am tired of a season in my life I can use the principle of seed and resurrection to kill that season I tie that season with understanding on a seed and as I cast that seed if that seed dies that season must die too now but the problem is that I have transferred my pain I've transferred the yokes on my family on that seed and you as a cashier you didn't allow the seed die you stole it that's what happened to Gehazi it's in the Bible the leprosy because it left Nam and did not mean he went away Gehazi thought he was just collecting gifts let me tell you why it is not well for many people you are counting the money and you just feel like look I'm hungry and then the devil just gives you a scripture those who serve by the altar should eat from the altar you see you see how the devil deceives people are we together at the end of three years this our man is not growing he's in trouble he's struggling with all kinds of things he needs help but nobody's helping him he's looking at all the ladies in the choir and all kinds of suggestions and he's just fighting using flesh he won't stand too long because real victory through enlightenment and transformation death to the flesh has not happened to him the day he now finds a lady who is also struggling what is struggling that's trouble already are you seeing now and the devil will do it in such a way that the lady will come to him for counseling or he'll become a youth pastor uh-huh so we have I, I hope you understand I'm not being sarcastic the curriculum that builds the saints that's why you see people returning to their vomit with speed because what will what will cut them away they came out of Egypt in one day but it took 40 years for Egypt to come out of them just because you are out of Egypt does not mean you cannot remember what happened some of you were attending bars nightclubs the, the clubs are still around every time you pass it you remember you even know where the other door that if you come late you know how you can follow you are not salvation does not just remove that memory is there you will see your friends who will look at you some of you or some persons were in cult groups now they get born again they meet those people again and they say i you will suffer till you come back This is what is happening in church so we have people for many years there is no constructive growth at best they are just concerned about the administration of ministry at me a conference is happening are the posters ready yes sir the posters are ready choir i hope you have songs which one let me hear and administration is happening and in the midst of it jesus is already out so after 10 years you will see someone who had been maybe a music director or a drama director for 10 years saying this god thing eh i'm tired i'm tired of lying i'm tired of pretending for 10 years are you seeing what is happening all across a man of god who has been ministering for instance respectfully speaking maybe across several nations after 20 25 years of ministry handling different positions who just come out and say nobody should talk to me again i'm not a christian again i'm tired of hypocrisy and lying I wasted 25 years of my life following this supposed God and let me tell you this it will keep happening in multiplied forms because our generation now has options internet is an option the music industry is an option if we do not present Christ in a very balanced and a real form 
that produces genuine results of transformation we will lose our children all it takes is one generation of neglect and the devil will come back and sweep our generation respectfully speaking this is what is happening in the western world their fathers their mothers serve god acceptably with all their heart but then they ignore the children don't worry they are just children and the devil said you know what this mama will never backslide the way she loves god like this she will fast till she dies let's leave her but let's come to the child let's grow with them those children are the presidents today those children are the governors today are you aware that in the next 10 years the person you are calling a child will have children too a boy instead listen to me god is speaking to you everybody in government today everybody in ministry today every thief every armed robber came from somewhere are we together the price genuine price of understanding doctrine listen carefully and communicating the same with accuracy and with power we must return and by the grace of god obtain grace from god to make sure that we teach truth that is balanced let's teach our people on prayer let's teach our people on the value and the power of consecration let's teach them on the supremacy of god's word let's teach them on prosperity don't ignore to teach them on prosperity you will produce a weak people without influence that the devil will usurp authority over let's teach our people of for of, of the value of living a responsible life of dignity by the time someone sits under your mentorship for two years three years you should be able to present that person and say jesus christ look at your bride you have put me like hey guy the keeper of the king's virgins he was given the assignment to prepare the virgins before they present themselves to the king and he did a good job all that you have given me jesus said i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition we must be faithful apostle i have only 10 members it does not matter be faithful apostle i have a crowd of people it does not matter be faithful moreover the bible says it is required in stewards that a man be found very quickly requirement number three and then we pray love and passion for god above every other thing the fortitude to settle down and learn doctrine understand scripture so that we can communicate the same with accuracy intentionally to build people the third assignment the third requirement if you want to be greatly used by god is that you must be prepared to be a model yourself let me tell you how transformation happens transformation happens in a territory when there are sufficient models sufficient references that give the people an idea of what god wants them to become are we together it's difficult to transform a territory when there are no references men and women must through their own personal growth become models enough now i know that many of you are afraid of what i just said because being a model is risky people will probe every aspect of your life and the sad reality is that they will find something missing so we are afraid it does not take perfection to be a model it takes sincerity and a determination to see jesus glorified in your life elijah was a temperous man but he was still a model abraham all of these men when the bible says be perfect it does not mean be blameless otherwise what would jesus come to do on the cross it is that be matured and sincere that people can see that intrinsically there is sincerity in your heart listen to me a boy cannot be transformed until there are sincere models models that define responsibility sociologically speaking models 
that define hunger and passion for God. Models that define the excellency of enlightenment through education. Models that define the sanctity of living. Models that define all this dimension. Look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that body. I called him, understudy him. Look unto Jesus. There must be men, human references, sufficient references in this city. So it is now easy to correct, it is easy to rebuke, it's easy to commend, it's easy to admonish because you can do that with respect to references. If you say Jesus, your children cannot see him. If you say Jesus, your members cannot see him. They need a manifestation. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came as the image of the invisible God. He came as the pattern man, as a reference. Are we together? So you have an exceptional music director that loves Jesus passionately. A disciplined young man, a visionary young man, a godly young man. Now, the Holy Ghost can use him as a reference to how music in the church should be. Are, are you seeing now? And before you know it, every other church can learn. In five months, the error in that area will evaporate because there is one model. Do you know it's easy for a thing to become a trend once you can find a model? When there is one person that preaches right, you honor the altar with integrity. All of a sudden, you find out that those who are given to compromises, the Holy Ghost can use you as a reference to now speak to them. To say you can do it right and still excel. And the person can go for a three days retreat, return back as a man of God into a life of dignity and integrity in ministry. The reason why there is hardly transformation is that there are few references. Are you seeing why Jesus called the twelve? References. That we must be models. It is not easy being a model in this generation. Because you will be the subject of attack. You will be the subject of criticism. The moment you model Christ to a generation, the devil will fight you. To make sure that whatever it is, there is no credence to you. But in spite of that, remember, I will build my church. And as you stand for people to look at your life, Jesus is saying, thank you, well done, good and faithful servant. Somebody can come with 100 million, a bank with 100 million of corrupt money to you as a man of God. And you know, this money is for the citizens. If I collect this money, that is the money for somebody's surgery. That is the money to heal somebody. That is the money for some school. They should fix a school that students should go to. No, I need money. But I fear God enough. I will not do that. Now, you see, respectfully speaking, that politician will leave and go back and say, wow. The next time they tell him, all men of God are corrupt. You say, no, 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 no. I have tested and I have seen that there are still a few people who will not bow to bear. Let me tell you this, being a model is powerful, very powerful. If everyone seated here, if every man of God, if every head of a prayer group, every ordained worker, everyone makes up his mind that in the name of Jesus, Lord, if you are searching for someone to use as a reference, let it be me. Let it be me. If you are looking for someone as a model of anointing with balance, let it be me. If you are looking for someone with a, as a model of prophecy with balance, let it be me. I remember one time I went somewhere and after ministering, a man of God sent me a text requesting to see me. And when he met me, he said, Apostle, you have changed my life. I said, glory be to God. It's an honor. And he said, you don't know what I'm saying. I came from a background where... There was no regard for the word of God. The moment you can prophesy, you will become a millionaire overnight. It does not matter. 
He said there were times that I would just open my Bible to preach and say we are wasting time. Just close that Bible and begin to prophesy. And people would shout, but there is no growth. Models. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you can do through me. Whatever you want to say, Lord, you can do through me. Wherever you want to go, Lord, you can go through me. Whoever you want to heal, Lord, you can heal through me. That's the language and the song of those who want to be models. Lord, you can do it through me if you want to bless people. Listen, there are some of you by reason of this conference, God will raise you. Because many people believe that pastors and leaders are just people who collect money from people and never bless society. And God can be saying that that vacuum is missing in a boy state how many voices are there who can feed the hungry there is a dimension of god that has not yet been understood that's why they are laughing at him and you sing this song and say lord if i'm the one that you are going to raise to pay the school fees of children and reveal that dimension of jesus i may not be able to prophesy there is no competition give me my own space and i vow that i'll be faithful Whoever you want to bless, Lord, you can bless through me. Whoever you want to change, Lord, you can change through me. Whatever you want to say, Lord, you can say through me. Listen. We're tired of people saying God said. And then it will be that God did not say. Can you be that one prophet with a difference? That I will stay with God and I will grow. That if I open my mouth like Samuel, none of his word, the Bible says, fell to the ground. If I say God is lifting people in a point, everybody including unbelievers will take you serious because they have discerned that you have done business with God enough to carry an authentic voice you have become God's spokesman through death if you organize a miracle crusade people will not say we're wasting our time don't go there this man they just shout and shout and nobody is healed Nobody is delivered. We are tired of dragging sick people in and taking them out. That you become God's model. If they ask and say, does Jesus Christ still heal in a boy? If, even in a beer parlor, if they are asking it, does Jesus Christ still heal? Is those in a beer parlor that will say yes? If say, And if you doubt it, I will be the one to drag you to that crusade ground. Because we have seen that there is a man of God upon this earth and in this soil that represents that dimension of God. Whoever you want to lift, Lord, you can lift through me. Whoever you want to change, Lord, you can change through me. We're going to pray. I will build my church. The price of being a vessel. As you pray, I want you to be very sensitive because something will happen to you. We are men of God. Just spare a few minutes. We will not stay longer than necessary. But we have to pray. We have to pray. Three prayer points. I will pray the last one. But the first two is for us. Prayer point number one. Listen. It's going to be a prayer of genuine surrender and consecration. Refine as fire. 
my heart's one desire is to be only set apart for you Lord I choose to be only set apart for you my master I'm ready to do your will fill me up until I overflow I want to run over I want to run over fill me up till I overflow I want to run over want to run over want to run over I want to run over are you ready to pray our prayer will be taken from Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord somebody must die and something must die that somebody is not an enemy somewhere lord every king i have exalted it took uzziah dying for isaiah to see whatever must die in my heart for me to see let it die right now lift your voice and pray kill pride for my life Kill lust from my life. Kill flesh from my life. Pray. Don't say I'm a man of God. Cast your golden crown. Cry before the God of heaven. It's missing. For some of you, it's the gift of the spirit. For some of you is character and moral excellence. For some of you is finances. For some of you is the blessing of influence. For some of you is the gift of men. I want you to cry before God in the next five minutes. Father, in the name of Jesus and in this conference, bring these other supplies in the name of Jesus so that my calling and my election will be sure. So that I will participate in this i will build my kingdom i will build my church project lift your voice and pray Shakata barakatas kada belekatesh, enta de pusha la brandos kotu barada balada balada ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen, please, please listen. The Holy Ghost just put an additional, an additional prayer point in my heart. Global evangelism. And global missions it should never be that a boy lacks people who will be involved in bringing people from the kingdom of darkness there must be crusades in this city oh. not crusades to show a man of God is anointed global harvest as can now give the nations to you oh Lord that's the cry of my heart. We ah. stand shores and the islands will see your light. As it rises on us, you say, As can now give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands we see no light.
Listen. Listen. If we are not active in soul winning, a day will come all the fathers of faith and a day will come even we ourselves, we will transit in glory and there will be no basis for continuity again. As you are ordaining other pastors, as other people are moving to the mission field, there is a vacancy. Someone must come back and fill that vacuum. Recycling members, just because they have money or political positions is not enough. We must go out there. Listen, I don't care how many churches are in this city. There are still people who are unreached. There must be intention with reaching them. For the rest of my life till Jesus comes, I will be involved in global missions. That everywhere I go, among the many things that we trust God to do, we must bring people to Jesus. There used to be an old hymn that we sang in the seminary. Must I go an empty handed? Must I meet my savior soul? It says not one soul with which to greet him. Must I empty handed go? Let me tell you this. You are not going to bring pounds and dollars and stand before Jesus. The gift that you will bring to him is that I spent my life seeing people come to Jesus more than prophesying more than working miracles you are about to be anointed but more than that your heart so so we're going to pray that one prayer father the fire for evangelism what came on men like Reinhard Bonke Billy Graham Peter Youngren father help them please I like just do what don't worry about them go ahead and pray there is a fire that is falling here lift your voice and pray fire for missions let it fall from heaven inside outside please help them just make sure they don't injure themselves Fire for global missions. Fire for genuine souls. Lord, through our hands, the lost must be saved. Must be saved. Must be saved. Evangelism fire. Our daddy is here. 82 83 many of us were not born i'm sure that our father and our grandfather he saw souls in the days of his youth there is a fire we are losing that must be restored east of the niger do not lose that fire you cannot lose the fire of souls let there be fresh awakenings from your region men and women of fire indeed the stadiums are still waiting for you the sport theaters are still waiting for you. The amphitheaters are still waiting for you. Who shall I send and who shall go for us? This is what I'm hearing the Holy Ghost tell me. Who shall I send? Who shall go? A hey boy, who shall I send? Who shall I send? Who shall I send to the stadiums? Who shall I send to the amphitheaters? Who shall I send to the schools? Who shall I send to the markets? Who shall I send to the shrines? Hallelujah. Hear me. 
when we talk about the global harvest we are not just speaking to men we are also speaking to women ladies listen to me you are also part of this divine program we need a resurrection of Catherine Kuhlmans of Amphi McPherson's women of fire and grace once upon a time they were women help them please where are the wailing women the women honor the prophetess women who pray Jesus to the earth where are the Deborahs where are Mary's where are the Esther's where are the roots hallelujah now please listen please listen please listen there are two prophetic things that are going to happen here i'm going to lay my hands now please listen in jesus name just listen please let's just listen to these instructions we're wrapping up i'm going to lay my hands on this oil and speak over it I hope you know that oil does not anoint this was designed for cooking you fry egg you fry yam with it this is goya oil oil only becomes a conduit for anointing when an anointed person anoints it oil in itself does not have any power it comes from a tree but now listen please i'm going to plead with our father i believe that there is a reason why god allowed bishop to be here there will be a transgenerational transference in this place listen all the servants and pastor dan you help me and i'm 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 i'm, I'm glad reverend vindio is here too it's the veterans of the gospel those who are ministers of the gospel maybe senior ministers of people those ones is our father the bishop that is going to anoint you i'm going to pray on it are we together now and then you just lead a father to them those people as he holds that oil he doesn't have to lay hands on you because of age you will not weary him but as you go to him and receive that impact i'm going to pray on it when daddy came here he made a statement he said there is a merging of the old and the new there are mantles in this nation many of us know nothing about Many of us have not studied the revivals. Even in your city here, there is fire coming on you. Fire. Ah, you will never be the same. It's a burning. You will step into superior dimensions of grace. please be sensitive as our father please those of you who are men of God senior men of God would we'll try to coordinate them so we don't just have people come rowdy as our father you are touching that oil please I'd like you to know that you will not return the same believe me accumulation of wisdom grace and experience of eight decades plus impartations that have happened wells that have been dug i've had the honor and privilege we'll do the general impartation in the night but tonight will be a miracle service and impartation so but my focus now really is on the ministers of the gospel but everybody who is here whether you are in or out the oil will come to you but please listen and i'm doing this number one to bless people help and then number two so that the younger ministers will learn you don't just become great for nothing uh -uh. there is a protocol if the realm of the spirit does not recognize you you'll be doing ministry and wasting your time and nothing will happen you will now see the folly and the foolishness of those who insult fathers there are ancient mantles have you studied the history of the church in your region? 
Do you know the men and women that God lifted in this region? Many young people have not learned. They are just doing ministry blindly. You can't do ministry. You are running a relay. You have to study those who gave you the baton. There are people who have gone to be with the Lord that God raised from your soil. History does not talk about them. But they were fearful men and women. Now there is a generation of men like our father, bishop, men like Uma Upai, and the rest. And the truth is, if Christ tarries, in the next few years, the cloud of witnesses will come and pick these men. But young people without a history, they will mess up the future. You must know what was done before you came, so that you do not take away the ancient landmark. It was Dr. David Ugueli who was, who was saying because many of these young people they are not ready to take this on it. They have not they have not passed the test for transference. Do you know many of the fathers keep bleeding? In as much as they see us jumping around and traveling they look for these requirements i told you and they don't find it and many of them are paying right now because i tell you some of them are already beginning to see the cloud the cloud is already forming to receive them and they are turning back elisha where are you are we going to carry this grace we stood for years on crusade grounds Some of you come from the physical bloodlines of these generals, yet you do not carry the grace. Or something is going to what happen here now. There will be a margin of the old and the new. This is a very prophetic conference. I have had encounters in my life you've heard my story that i traveled around the world looking for people who were custodians of the graces of revivals the generals that died both in africa and in the world who did they transfer that grace to i remember one of the men that i met he told me he said let me tell you this smith wigglesworth spoke to lester sumro and said do not die with this mantle you carry the moment you are old start looking for young men look for young men everybody will not be stubborn and proud there will be somebody who will be open enough he said transfer those graces don't go with that grace we are not the ones who invented this there are women who walked upon the earth and they carried power there are women who were like angels on earth there are men men who would sit down in crusade grounds before they begin to pray in your city and your region they walked upon this soil you would see with people on their way entering the crusade ground they've not entered the stadium yet and the people arise from the wheelchair because of the sheer enormity of the presence and the power they carry oh lord restore restore lord restore restore mantles restore graces king of kings lord of lords you reign above all King of kings, Lord of lords, you reign above all. So we sing your name next door. You reign. Let me tell you this. You will see a resurgence of miracles, signs and wonders in your city. Jaw dropping miracles. The dead back to life once again not once a year not once a year cripples no 
that's not notable to compel the city there are miracles that will that on sunday cities will be shut down shops will be closed because everybody is coming to the house of the lord hallelujah now listen father this is a very defining moment listen to me please hear me there are some of you here you have not started ministry yet you are still in the period of training don't despise yourself you are the next apostolic and prophetic voices you are listen you are still in the cave of adulam but do not allow anybody to despise you some of you are heads of little prayer groups be faithful there that's where god qualifies you don't move around with cards giving people and say invite me stay with god let him walk on you let him prune you many years i was in a crowd like this in a reinhard bonke crusade i was already in ministry but not at this level many people just came to witness a great evangelist i came with hunger to receive an impartation i remember by the second day i said i wanted to be part of the workforce they said no i will not be part of the workforce because i was not trained i said what do you mean by i was not trained you know where i traveled from i saw people wheeling wheelchairs to the front and i collected one of them as i was pushing it i said lord this is how my crusades will be too i'm honoring this grace behind every story every glory there is a story apostolic conferences like this open you up to the scars of great men so that you will see that just because a cloth of royalty is covering it does not mean there is no scar and let no man trouble me i bear in my body the mark of christ let me tell you this many years ago i used to serve a man of god many many years ago i played keyboard for a man i will not mention his name he was an evil man they were part of he had a ministry they were part of those who went to go and preach for bas and when he was in prison i would carry my own keyboard i had my local assembly but i would carry help him please i would carry my own keyboard listen carefully and i would go there and sit down and play and carry that same keyboard and trek home while i was serving i did not know that this was the evolution that would lead to an apostolic call let me tell you young men listen to me the pride that comes with fighting authority it will destroy you your service and your humility is what will qualify you for the mantle that you desire no god starts as a king you start as a shepherd if you are faithful as a shepherd then you will become a king So this is what we'll do i'm going to lay my hands and we're going to pray and when i pray please someone take the mic to our father where he is because we don't want him to be moving around no daddy please sit someone get a good mic take to him when i pray right from where he is our father is going to pray on behalf of all the apostolic eastern elders in this city even those who have gone and those who are alive he represents that signpost and he's going to ask the lord we're going to say lord let those mantles that have been locked up in the soils of the east let those mantles once again Eli bones were carrying great anointings and one day they brought it they meandered a madman a, a dead man and he came and touched that bones and life came back to him it is dishonor that stops transference of graces are we ready i will pray and then we will we'll pray please just listen to what he's saying 
and when we are done then the men here that will respect all the senior men of god please none of them let it be maybe yes our daddy and just direct them the senior men of god and yes so the, the leaders i don't know how you distribute them please everybody let the oil touch them you don't need to come out just stay where you are i'm sure that there are people outside even if you have a child at your back no problem there is not idolatry by the time that oil comes on you lay it on your head your hand the symbol of productivity and turn and fire blasting tongues lord every grace every mantle are we together now father the god of abraham isaac and jacob hold on who is a fluent man of god in Igbo here you pray in Igbo fluent there's someone like that don't be afraid please sir please come this is a very prophetic meeting be patient i'm going to give him the mic you're going to pray and speak over the east and ask the lord that we require a visitation of fire in the east and i want you to pray in the Igbo dialect jesus Jesus Christ on your way. Praise the name of the Lord. We're praying. Father, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I lay my hands upon this oil. These are ordinary bottles of oils. But I bow my knees to you, O God of my covenant. And in the name, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. Just stand. Father, I pray, let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon this oil. That upon every head and every destiny it rests upon. Let this grace represent the anointing for the revival that is sweeping across the earth now. Lord, you desire to bring it to the east in a new dimension and we pray. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, let this oil bring many into depths of encounters. Let this oil bring many into their call. Let this oil anoint many for signs and for wonders. Let this oil be oil of revival, oil of judgment upon altars. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare it sanctified we declare it anointed in the name of jesus now let's we're going to allow our father pray first he's going to pray just where he is and he's going to represent the generation of our fathers all the fathers of faith within the east of the niger he should be about the oldest of them that i know and so he will lift up his voice and pray daddy please ah jesus as he way, and I have your money, Rugios. When I yoke, oh, come on, so go check. Get your own on a label. 
قاضی آقا زانه حجیزا Lord that the sicknesses in families sicknesses in businesses in ministries will end in the name of Jesus Christ at last, last you said this sickness is not unto death but that the father may be glorified oh Lord, glorify yourself in what we do for you in the name of jesus christ father open doors open new doors open the doors we did not knock at open strange doors open doors in foreign lands open doors around us in the name of jesus christ father may your people rejoice again may they witness miracles in all our services thank you father for doing it in jesus mighty name we pray Louder, amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Okay, please, very quickly, someone, you take it. This will be for the men and the women of God. And then you can pick it. Just distribute it. Everyone pray in the spirit until your oil gets to you. When it gets no distraction, please forget whether it's husband or wife. Forget about that. Focus. Let your eyes be on Jesus and be on your destiny, inside or outside. All over this place, let's begin to pray in the spirit. If the oil is done and, and you don't have it, don't worry. Just a touch, put it on your head. Very quickly, please. Let the servants of God, you can direct them. Please, someone direct the servants of God in the land or those who have come. They can be directed, please. Okay, S uh, sit down everybody. Are you praying in the spirit? Please, once they touch you, you can stand up. Just stand up and go. Just stand up and go, please. Are we doing the right thing? Hold on, please. Please, men of God, let's not be rowdy. You can just stand in a line or so, maybe two lines, please. I know you are men of God. Just stand on two lines so that our daddy will just, just a touch, just a touch and that's all right. For the rest, you don't need to be touched. They'll just give you the bowl. You touch it by yourself. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. As the oil comes on you, pray. Don't look around. Just pray. Father. 
are you praying outside pray everywhere pray transgenerational transference graces mantles please coordinate them let's not have ministers of once you are done please go back to your seat please please if you are not a minister of the gospel a senior man of god please just go back to your seat Please, once they touch you just go back to your seat be patient you don't have to fight be patient What's that? please don't do that please don't do that don't rush and come to me please stop it please help her help the girl please help them help them don't manhandle them but help them you don't have to do that i'm a man i'm not god please you will hurt yourself please please hold on where are the two ladies don't worry hold on just bring them but don't fight them don't do my sister don't do that no take it easy please just calm down you'll be prayed for take it easy please those outside make sure you are praying don't miss out this moment we are rounding up you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never Hey. You've Don't touched his grace. Your life has changed. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let me know if we are done. Let me just know if we are done. New dimensions in the spirit. Shalabada kataprande gede bele de bos. Em protoko sopra da gada balato ziada.
life must change. My life must change. Your life must change. My life must change. Your life must change. My life must change. Hallelujah. Please listen. Just listen to this. While our father rounds up, just laying hands on the people. Listen, just instructions for the night, please. All of you, please listen. Now, I'm going to request, tonight is a miracle service and an impartation service. I will be praying for you and just releasing graces and activating mantles, graces and anointings. I'll be prophesying. And then, we're going to be ministering to the sick. Guess what I want you to do? Please, for you here, following online, all those who are outside, please make sure, number one, you invite everybody around the city. Let them know that there is a crusade and God is doing much. Praise the Lord. Even if there is no space, if you will sit on the roof, sit on the roof tonight. Number two, please let me encourage everyone, come with a prayer request. Write down a list of everything that must live your destiny in this season. You can write it for yourself. Write it for your ministry, your children, your business, your parents. Everything that has mocked God in your life. That will not allow you to be a reflection of the life and the power of God. I want you to write it down. When you come, there will be ushers. I'm going to be laying hands on them myself. Let the God that answers by fire tonight, let him be God. So even for those who for any reason may not make it, you have loved ones who are abroad or everywhere, please call them. Those who are following online, I'm sure there will be a provision for you to just register your prayer request so that we'll pray tonight. Let your heart be enlarged. Come to receive. You're a man of God. You can come with your pastors. You're a leader. You can come with the members of your prayer groups. Come with your heart open, ready to receive. I'll share with you a revelation tonight. And then we'll have the opportunity to pray. Are we blessed? Just a moment and our daddy is done. Please, once they are done, just stand up and walk away so that we'll make it very, very fast. Very, very fast. I believe in the name of Jesus that no ministry represented here will be the same. In the name of Jesus. And whilst our father is still praying, I declare that any wrong association you are part of that is making you compromise on your character, compromise on your values, in the name of Jesus, we break those associations now. Every man of God here who has been struggling with church growth, trusting God for increase. In the name of Jesus, who is responsible for increase, I decree and declare, the same grace that took the animals from the ark of Noah and brought them into the ark, I declare, may that grace bring all those who have been sent to your grace. I hope you are receiving it in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, um, if we do this, we will not end here. Please, protocol, I expect you to be strict. Please, just walk with those. Once we are done, we are done. Don't worry, God bless you. Once they are done with you. Okay, these two more. Please go quickly so that we don't stress our father. And everything that has put a dark veil over your ministry, misrepresenting what you are doing you do good and people speak evil we tear those fails into pieces now in the name of jesus christ there are some of you you are in this city but the gate of the city is not yet open for you in the name of jesus we prophesy to the two lived gate of a boy we speak to the east of the niger those gates a father be open hither and thither in the name of Jesus Christ and for those of you who are sincere serving the Lord with all your heart but there are no results in your ministry no results of salvation transformation miracles change lives in the name of Jesus I call upon my God who is your God to honor you with the grace for performance the grace for strange results in the name of Jesus but ultimately I pray for you that more than the ministry that you do may your heart pant after God forever may nothing sustain the ability to steal your fire
please hear me if there is anyone here and there are habits there are things you are struggling with, suffering from whether you are a man of god or you are just an ordained church worker or just an effective christian the grace for victory over those issues of concern receive that grace right now the spirit of competitive jealousy we banish it out of a boy state in the name of jesus we declare there is love among men and women of god can i tell you the honest truth the truth is that, that all churches will not be the same if men of god will be different according to personality their levels of alignment and the election of grace but anybody who comes into this city to cause division to tear down the church we close the gates towards their ministry you must love one another don't gather men and things and young people and you are talking about fellow ministers indoctrinating them tearing them down is immature we must be men of prayer the pain of one man of God is the pain of every man of God are we together now at times will come when when a man of God is organizing a crusade even if you are not able to make it you can sleep in hundred thousand and say please use it to provide boss by so 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 man of God and even if in terms of the tenants your beliefs are far apart love is a binder are we together don't say because you do not submit to my father or my mentor because you don't have revelation like me because you don't heal like me you are an outcast we must kill that spirit is destroying the body of christ we must have mutual respect you can't be a man of god that everybody keeps respecting while you don't respect anybody back and you should not only respect those above you you must respect those above you you must respect your contemporaries you must also respect those below you the bible says honor all men the attitude that only respects fathers and you tear down your contemporaries demean those who are coming all of us were where they were that god brought us here tomorrow they will also rise and if you don't regard them by the time you become old like our father they will so dishonor you that pain will send you to your grave here and there there are people making mistakes i know character mistakes mistakes in terms of integrity in ministry who we'll continue to pray and where god grants opportunity to we'll bring advices in law rebukes and corrections according to the authorities god has given us but eternally we must love the body and we must love the church i am for paul i am for apollos i am for this that is devilish and destructive we must train our people to have regard for servants of the gospel we must train our people don't go back and say ah my in quote orthodox pastor in one church there now i have more revelation i can heal the sick it's not even filled with the holy ghost and then we carry our revelation and insult fathers every father of faith in this land deserves the honor of everyone regardless whether he's producing the kind of results we think or not we owe them respect are we together are we in agreement with that god will grant us that grace and for all the prayers we have prayed we say amen to it in the name of jesus christ so please prepare your heart for the evening let your heart be desperate you know a man of god who should be here please call him and tell him this is not a, this is not about joshua selman this is God visiting the land. Let our hearts be open. Let us receive for a new dimension. The Lord bless you. And keep you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.